So who's ever seen this before? Nobody. Ace, you, okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, all right, so this is called the triangle, uh, triangular theory of love, right? Um, according to this, love is the product, or what we call consummate love, which is right here, is a product of three things, right? It's uh, intimacy, passion, and commitment, okay? So, the thing about this uh, triangle, it's saying that in order to have love in the fairy tale shit we all talk about, you all have to have all three things working together. The thing about this theory is, according to this, most people don't get all three. Right? Most people get one out of three, two out of three, but they don't get all three. For example, romantic love, that's a combination of intimacy and passion without commitment. That's like a boyfriend and girlfriend. Y'all ain't married. Uh, uh, Y'all are crazy about each other. You can have conversations for days, but you're not trying to be together for 50 years. You understand? And then you look at compassionate love, okay? There's intimacy, y'all can conversate, there's commitment, but there's no passion. That's an example of like, um, y'all heard of like a loveless marriage? You know, like we're together for the kids, he's my best friend, but there's no, there's no, uh, you know? And then uh, fatuous love, that's passion and commitment, but no intimacy. I don't, I don't, I can't think of an example of that. Y'all got an example of that? Where it's passion and intimacy, but no uh, passion and commitment, but no intimacy. That's like maybe you don't really know each other. Yeah, I'm about to. Y'all, y'all know. This is fuck buddy. No, it's not. But, but you're not committed to a fuck buddy. That's what. No, but that's y'all. That's y'all. That's your benefit. That's your benefit. That's your benefit. Okay, that's real. That's real. That's real. All right, so, 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 according to psychology, this is what love is based on. Love is pretty much a math problem, right? So. Um, the reason I wanted to start from here is because, first of all, I thought it was interesting. I thought it was interesting to kind of break it down like that and to kind of analyze your situation based on this. And also, I think you can use this to uh, uh, kind of dissect um, other kinds of love, kind of like uh, old dude on the video said, it's other types of love. It's, it's love between friends, it's love between your family and stuff. Who, who agrees with this? I'm guessing the rest of y'all disagree. I'll see you guys. He, you run into him, he's like, everything you ever dreamed of, and he never messes up. That's your fairy tale. Y'all get married, you're happy ever after, live happy ever after, having three and a half kids, right, to get fit to the dollar. You just can't, like, assume that every fairy tale love is, is jump straight to the happy ever after. That's not, that's not how relationships work. That's where that commitment comes in. Commitment doesn't mean cheating or anything. It's when you're committed to making it work, when you're consistent on compromising and making something work. You can love somebody and they can give you like everything. That fairy tale thing. Yeah, didn't have problems, but you wouldn't be human if you didn't have problems. Like my parents have been together since high school. High school. Yeah, you know, they had problems, issues, or whatever. But they have like little kids together, and it's like, I mean, just the love that they have for each other makes me want to love somebody the way that they love each other. Like my mom took care of my dad for um, his. Treatment. Everybody who's found somebody who's like, oh, he's really good. Some shit came along and he fucked up or she fucked up and or you yeah. found some type of flaw was like, mm, I don't like that. Now maybe you got over that flaw, you accepted that flaw, but he still wasn't Mr. Perfect or she still wasn't Miss Perfect. So that fairy tale shit is both. My dad said if my mom ever passed away before him, like he would take the dog and take everything and just set the house on fire because he couldn't live. conversation with somebody and walked away and thought, damn, that girl's cool. I'm more the type of person that tries to like to really get to know people and everything like that. But I feel like the problem with the infatuation is like lust to overpower that like real quick. Like how many people you know you'd be like, man, I'm fucking so attracted to them. Then they say you know you think about other shit, then you wanna fuck them and then it's all about <laughs> that feeling of uh, like if, you, if you know, if you if you have like that connection with somebody, like you know it, like you know you want to like start something. 
And so like you have to have that spark. You have a conversation first, like you see yourself most likely like when you like just infatuate that person, you attract with that person, like most likely it doesn't really happen, like it doesn't really go any further than that. But if you really like getting to know that person first and have a conversation, you like, man, I'm really digging this person and stuff like that, it's gonna lead up to those other things longer and then you wanna have like a, I feel like it's gonna lead to a stronger relationship. So how are you going to be intimate with someone? Y'all saying intimate intimacy comes first, but how are you going to be intimate with someone that you don't know? I just feel like there's like certain things like you have to have, like you have to have that passion. Like it's like something that you build off of and you just like find that commitment like I wanna agree with with, with what with what you just said because if you don't if like if you don't got that initial attraction, what's gonna make you wanna be intimate or committed to you? But that's what you said. An infatuation is an intense but short lived passion or admiration for someone or something. Yeah. Therefore, therefore you thinking, damn, he finding shit, that's infatuation, correct? Yes. Okay, so infatuation would come first because I'm thinking, dang, he finding shit before I think, ooh, I really want I like his mind and his soul and his spirit. So you're saying passion goes first. I think Once you get your heart broken, it's kind of hard, but you can't be scared. You just don't have to take it.